Hello everybody and welcome to a new yoga video. Today we're going to work through some movements for the upper body, kind of getting into the areas that get tense after a long day at work and also into the hips a little bit with some familiar standing poses and a couple of new exercises for you to try as well. As always, take it easy, listen to your body and your breathing. Remember yoga is not a competition. So just press pause if you need to, take a break and make this your yoga practice. So let's get started. Uh, I should also mention that you might want to grab a couple of blocks. Um, if you have yoga blocks, that'd be great, or um, a cushion or a rug or something like that, just to support you throughout the exercises today. So we're gonna come over to a tabletop position. Just hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, top of the feet flat on the floor. You can give them kind of a little wiggle out to make sure they're kind of nice and relaxed. Take a nice breath in to prepare. And as you exhale, round the back like a cat, dropping the head between the arms. Inhale, come through, moving the spine just gently in the opposite direction. And exhale, round the back. So we're going to keep moving like this for a few rounds, just at your own pace. Exhaling as you stretch and arch the back like a cat. Inhaling as you come through, moving the spine in the opposite direction. A couple more times. You may even like to just move the shoulders from left to right in cat pose. Come through into cow. Good. One more time. Cat. Big exhale. Inhale through to cow. And exhale. Come back to a nice neutral spine in the middle. We're going to sit back on the heels. Take the knees wide and stretch out into a child's pose. Really stretch the arms out along the mat and just roll over to the left. And the right, you can allow the hands to kind of follow, so you're almost rolling the shoulders a little bit too here as well. Good. A couple more times to each side. And then slowly come back to the middle. Inhale, come all the way up. And we're just going to do a few kind of wave-like movements for the spine just to help warm it up. So building on that cat-cow sequence, we're going to inhale to prepare nice and deeply, filling the body with air. Exhale, round the back like a cat. Keep that nice arch in the spine and sink the tailbone towards the heels. Then you're going to scoop the chin down towards the mat and come up into a cow position like this. Good. Exhale, round the back. Sit back onto the heels and then flex the spine down towards the ground. You're sweeping the chest along the ground, close to the floor, coming up into cow. Exhale, cat, really stretching out the space. Try to really find space between the shoulder blades. Come back, hip, hips over the heels, sweep down on the ground and come all the way up. Just come back to a neutral spine now and we're gonna try and reverse that movement. So you're gonna come down to the ground, scoop the heels, uh, hips back towards the heels and then lift up into cat pose. Into cow, come down to the ground, move backwards and then round up into cat. A couple more times into cow. Bring the chest down to the floor between the hands, sink the hips back, and then rise up into cat. So let's do that one more time. Into cow, come down to the ground, hips back over the heels, and round up into cat. Good. Come back into a neutral spine. And then just sit back on the heels and just give the hands a little shake out. So just kind of wiggle the wrists, shake the hands. You could even maybe make some fists, pumping the fingers up and down. Good. And then come back to the mat. Now we're just going to work through the wrists a little bit. So very gently take the left hand and place the back of the hand on the mat. The fingers pointing towards you and feel a nice stretch through the wrist here like this. Good. And then switch. Place the left hand back, turn the right hand and press the back of the right hand just gently against the floor, feeling a nice stretch, good, and then come back. And then turn the hands out, so the fingers are pointing to the edge of the mat, wrists are facing each other, and just hold here for a moment. You might even like to move forward and back very gently though, just kind of adding some movement into this, good. And then come back and turn the hands the opposite way, so fingers to face each other, Press the hands into the ground. You could even go a little bit from left to right here. Just getting into the wrists again, moving forwards and back. Just kind of see how it feels. Take it nice and easy. Good, and then come back to center. 
And another nice stretch you can do for your fingers is to lift the heels of the palm up off the ground and press the fingers into the floor. You can press them down, heels down, and then lift the heels of the hands up and press the fingers into the floor. Nice stretch for those fingers. Good, and then sit back on the heels. And again, just gently shake out the hands. Nice job. So we're going to make our way to downward dog now. So stretch those arms out along the ground, along the mat, fingers wide, press the palms into the floor, activate the arms, tuck the toes under, sink those hips back over the heels, and then hover the knees up off the ground. Bring the head between the arms and lift those hips up high. Walk the feet back maybe a couple of inches, keep the feet about hip width apart, and keep a little bend in the knees just to protect the hamstrings and make sure that your hips a high and back away from your hands. So you're elongating your spine, stretching out that back without really putting extra pressure on the hamstrings, especially if your hamstrings are tight, if you're a runner, a cyclist, a swimmer, or a hiker, probably the case if they're like mine. And we're gonna slowly pedal the feet now, which helps to gently warm up the hamstrings and add a little bit of movement and gently stretch one at a time. Again, moving to your own, within your own range of motion. We're just encouraging some gentle stretching here. You might hear some creaks and pops in the toes. Really press those hands into the floor, keep the hips upper back to avoid the weight collapsing forward. You can even roll the top of the foot over. That's quite nice, massaging the toes against the ground. And then take the feet wide to the outer edges of the mat and begin to kind of step up and kind of like a big monster step up towards the top of the mat. So you're coming into this wide stance with your legs and just hang here for a moment. So kind of wide-legged ragdoll or medium-legged ragdoll if you like. Keeping a little bend in the knees but allowing the shoulders, the neck, the head to relax and to hang. Feel the jaw kind of relax. You could even sway a little bit here from side to side. And just allow the hands to come to wherever they land today. Just keeping everything nice and relaxed in the shoulders. Good. And then we're going to bend the knees, bring the hands up to the hip. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, lift and lead with the head, hinging from the hips, come up to standing. Step the feet in, have a little shake out. Shake the feet, shake the hands. And then bring yourself to the top of your space or your yoga mat, base of the big toes together, ankles about an inch apart. Let's bring our hands into our heart center. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, and then bring the hands back into kind of this box or cactus shape arms like this. And from here, I want to lift the chest, lead with the crown and back of the head up and back. So we're really creating space across the sternum, across the front of the body here, but we're not crunching back. So I want you to lead and lift, thinking you're making this nice gentle curve. Good, inhale. Exhale, come back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift up and over. Nice gentle back bend. Really leading with the top of the head, not from the base of the spine. Think of a nice gentle curve. Good. And come all the way back. Bring the hands into your heart center in a prayer position and bring the base of the thumbs to your sternum again. Nice big inhale. Exhale, reach the arms up and this time sweep them down. Bend the knees, bring the hands down to the toes. Inhale, rise up to your halfway lift. You can straighten the legs here, I'll keep a little micro bend in the knees. But think of extending the crown of the head forward so you get a nice straight long spine. And then fold from the hips, tummy towards the thighs, hands down towards the ground. Let's step the right foot back, coming into a low lunge. Do a couple of kind of gentle movements backwards and forwards here just to warm up the left hip, getting into the right foot. Good, and then slide that left foot back, come into plank, engage the core, press the floor away here actively, and then drop the knees, and lower yourself to the ground, bending the elbows straight back, using the arms, good, and the core. Stretch the legs out behind you, tuck the elbows in, take a mini cobra here, peeling the front of the body up off the ground, good, and come all the way down. Now we're gonna lift up and back, Take a short child's pose, stretching the tailbone over the heels, and then move into your downward dog, lifting the hips up and back, stepping the heels and the feet back a little to the back, hip width apart. And again, you can pedal the feet here, just kind of walk the dog, whatever you like to call that. 
You can even kind of move the hips from left to right, look under each armpit. Just kind of have a bit of free movement here, working out any kinks. Good stretch for the lower legs, getting into the calves, the feet, the ankles. Good, you can kind of massage the toes again. It's one of my favorites. Good. We're going to look forward and step the right foot up between the hands in one or two stages. Slide the left foot in about a foot and come up into warrior one. So the left back foot is pointing out at about 45 degrees. We're lifting the arms up overhead, hips facing forward. Press the back edge of that left foot into the ground, firm up the right leg so your legs are nice and strong and active. And we're reaching up through the arms. You can wiggle the fingers. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, sweep those hands down, come down to the floor, slide that right foot back. And we'll do a nice little vinyasa through so we can do the other side, drop the knees down, or you can come straight down to the ground in Chaturanga. Stretch the legs out behind you, lift up into that mini cobra. So really squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you here, engage the back of the body. See if you can even lift the hands off the ground for a microsecond, just to ensure that you're really engaging the whole core here. Good job. Lift up and back, press into a child's pose to counteract the back bend. And then make your way into downward dog again, lifting those hips high and back away from the hands. Really stretch out that spine, pedal the feet. Let's just take a moment to bring the ankles together, toes wide apart. A nice different kind of stretch here for the hamstrings and the hips. Good. And then do the opposite, bring the toes together and take the ankles wide apart. Nice big inhale, full exhale. Good, turn the toes to face forward, look forward and step the left foot now up between the hands. Drop the right foot down, about a foot in, come up into worry one on the second side, hips facing forward, press the back edge of that right foot into the ground, lift the arms up, but we're not straining too much here, we want the legs to be strong, feel a nice opening through the right side, wiggle the fingers, smile, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, sweep the hands down, come down to the floor and step that right foot up between the hands. Bring the base of the toes together and then inhale, lift the arms up, come all the way to standing and bring the hands back into that box shape, the cactus arms if you like. And again, lift up and back and really feel that nice opening across the front of the body. Good. Bring the arms together, inhale, reach up, exhale, sweep down, hands towards the toes forward bend and then rise up into your halfway lift. Exhale, hinge and forward into a nice forward bend. This time step the left foot back and just pivot again, forwards and back, working the right hip a little bit here and then the back left foot. Slide the back right foot, come into plank. Drop the knees or lower all the way down to the ground and come up. Let's roll up a little bit higher this time into a nice Bend good and then lower all the way down. Lift up and back, exhale as you come into a short child's pose. And then inhale, lift up into downward dog. Exhale, take the hips high. Pedal out the feet again. Good job, move the hips. Good, pedaling out the feet, working out any tightness in those legs and spine, good job. Let's look forward, step the right foot between the hands. Drop the back left heel straight down and cycle, spin that left arm up and come into warrior two. So nice opening across the front of the body, strong right knee. Arms and shoulders kind of relaxed. We don't want to hold too much tension here. And we're going to come into that box shape or cactus arms. Inhale, exhale, press them together. Inhale, open. Exhale, press together. Inhale, open. One last time, exhale, press, and then inhale, open. We're going to reverse that warrior, so take this right arm up and just stretch that back left arm gently down the leg, feeling a nice opening through this right side, and then we'll come over into an extended side angle pose variation. Stretch this left arm, really feel this opening across the top of the left hip. Keep this right hip underneath in a nice straight line. Extend the arm, big inhale. Exhale, come back up to warrior two, and then lift this left arm up and over, come back down to the ground. We're gonna slide that right foot back, come back to a nice plank pose, 
and you can lower down to the ground here in Chaturanga, or drop the knees and just bend those elbows straight back, hugging them into the sideways as you lower to the floor. Let's peel up now to a nice upward dog, lifting as much up off the ground and keep the knees on the floor here if you like. And then drop the knees, tuck the toes, sink back into a short child's pose before you move into downward dog. Take the feet wide and again, just kind of move the hips from side to side, but really make sure you're not dropping into the wrists here. So keep pushing the floor away and keep the hips high. Good. And then step the feet to the hip width apart. Look forward and step the left foot up between the hands. Drop that right heel straight down and spin that right arm up and over. Come to warrior two on the second side. Pressing the feet into the floor, activating the legs, feeling an opening across the front of the hips. Good. Now we're going to come into cactus arms again. Inhale. Exhale, press the hands together. Inhale, open. So you can even squeeze the shoulder blades a little together behind you. Exhale, squeeze the hands. Opening up. Good. Exhale, squeeze in. Open up. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze in. One more big open. Good. Come back into warrior two arms. Reverse the warrior, so opening up the side of the body here. Big inhale. Exhale, come over into extended side angle pose variation. We're going to press the foot into the floor. Really open up this right hip, keeping the left hip underneath you. And feel that nice stretch across that area as you reach the right fingertips. You can think of the upper arm coming in line with your ear so we don't collapse forward here. Good. One big inhale. Exhale, come back to warrior two and then take the right arm up and over and come down to the ground. We're going to step that right foot up. Inhale, come into halfway lift. Exhale, fold in towards the legs. Sweep the arms up. Come all the way up to standing. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a round of breath. Should be feeling nice and warm now. Hopefully we're going to add in a little bit extra. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold from the hips, dive forward into your forward bend. Inhale, rise up halfway. Nice flat back here. And exhale, fold in from the hips, tummy towards the thighs. Hands down around the feet. We're going to step the left foot back and take the right foot straight back, coming into plank. We're just going to do a little vinyasa, so come through, come down to the ground and chaturanga. Roll up, upward dog. Big inhale here. Exhale, drop the knees. Move straight back into downward dog this time, lifting the hips nice and high. Good. Then we're going to look forward and step the right foot up between the hands and walk it to the outer edge of the mat. Bring both hands to the inside of that right foot and now drop that left heel down, kind of in a warrior two position. So toes are pointing out at about a 45 degree angle. And we're just going to come into this downward dog arms with the kind of with the hands on the ground and then we're going to keep this right hip in line so it may want to swing out to the side so kind of squeeze the leg use those muscles to hold it in position and press the hands into the floor and just drop the head between the arms so we're just going to relax the shoulders and the face here but keep those legs nice and strong nice big inhale and exhale lift up now we're going to spin that back left foot around, slide the back right foot down, and now we're going to step the left foot forward. So step that left foot up to the outside of the left edge of the mat, draw up the right heel down as if it was in warrior two, and bring the hands kind of into a downward dog position, so kind of in the middle of the mat. And we're going to really press the feet into the floor and keep those legs active. Again, just making sure that this left hip doesn't drift out to the side. So gently guide it in line. Use your thigh as a kind of ruler, if you like, to keep things in line with the edge of the mat. Press the hands into the floor, but keep the face and the jaw relaxed if you can. So effort where the effort is needed. Breathe nice and deeply here. You're going to take one more inhale. And then spin the back right foot around so the toes face forward and step the right foot now up. So both feet are on either side of the hands, kind of right on the edge of the mat. You could even turn the toes out a little bit. And we're going to sink down into Malasana. 
And this is a nice way to stretch out the inner thigh and the groins. If you need to here, you could add the block for a little bit of support. It just means you still get the nice opening, but without kind of going too deep into the stretch. Press the hands together in a prayer position. And just breathe here, nice deep stretch. Try and keep the chest lifted, try not to collapse here. If you need to add an extra block or a cushion, that's great. Go for it. It probably depends on what kind of training you've been doing, what stage we're at. Take a nice, another big inhale. Exhale. And then slowly come forward, bringing the hands to the ground to support you. Lift your hips up, turn the toes in, come back into a forward bend, move the blocks if you need to. And just walk the feet in, come into ragdoll for a minute, bending the knees. Shake out the shoulders, good. And then roll up to standing really slowly, uncurling the spine, coming up nice and slowly. Big inhale here. Lift the arms up overhead and exhale, bring them down to a prayer position. Take one more inhale and exhale fully. Good, let's shake out the arms and the legs and come down to the ground. And we're just gonna roll onto our backs. And just give the back a little massage for a moment, just hugging the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the shins. You can rock from side to side. You may even like to kind of rock forwards and back. If you've got some good cushioning underneath you, that's nice for the spine, but again, only if that feels good for you today. Coming all the way back now, place the feet on the floor, toes facing forward, back hip points apart. We're gonna come up into bridge pose, Starting at the base of the spine, begin to tilt the pelvis and roll the spine up off the ground nice and slowly. You can walk the heels in a little closer if you like to. And lift the hips as high as you can and then kind of roll over to the right and squeeze the left shoulder blade underneath you. Roll to the left, squeeze the right shoulder blade underneath you, interlace the fingers and press the back of the arms into the ground as you really lift the hips. So press into the heels, press into the floor and lift those hips, nice back bend. Make sure the knees don't splay out to the side, try and keep the kneecaps pointing forward. Big inhale here. And exhale, take the shoulder blades out from underneath you, release the hands and roll that spine down onto the mat. One vertebrae at a time, going nice and slowly. Making sure the base of the spine is the last thing that touches the mat. Good, and then hug the knees slowly into the chest one more time. Gentle massage, rock from side to side. You could even do some circles, placing one hand on each knee, do some butterfly circles, going in both directions. Good job. And then come into happy baby. So it's kind of a reverse of Malasana with our hands over the feet. Really press the feet into the hands. Palms are over the soles of the feet, arms along the inside of the leg. You can even rock from side to side here or pedal the feet around. Just hold and breathe. If it's easier, you can always hold onto the ankles. That works too. You could even do some circles with the feet here. Good, and then bring the knees together, place the feet onto the floor and just Make your way into whatever position you like for relaxation, if your blocks are in the way. You may like to grab your cushion or your prop and just place it under the back of the knees for the relaxation. Just to allow the legs to fully relax and be a little supported. Place the back of the hands on the ground, arms out to the side. Make sure you feel nice and comfortable. Take a few moments just to settle in. Closing the eyes. Softening the face and feeling the ground, really holding you, supporting you for a few moments now as we just allow the body to fully rest and relax. So we're kind of sinking into the ground, letting gravity completely take over. We're not working to resist it. We're just going to really feel the body just kind of melt, if you like, into the ground. Imagine you are melting like oil in a pan, just spreading out over the surface, allowing the breath 
to fall into a nice natural packing. We're not controlling the breath in any way. And if the mind starts to wander, don't worry, just come back to your breath. Just come back to the inhale and the exhale. And you may like to count, that can help just to guide your breathing. Stay in the moment. And you're more than welcome to stay here and enjoy a longer relaxation. But whenever you're ready, we're going to slowly start moving, bringing some movement to the fingertips, wiggling the fingers and toes, bending the knees, draw the feet up towards you and slowly roll over onto one side, pressing the hands into the ground, make your way up to sitting. And bringing the legs into a nice, easy cross-legged position or whatever's comfortable for you this afternoon. We're going to bring our hands into a prayer position and be thankful for this time, thankful for this movement practice. Thank you for joining us today. Namaste.